69 videos, ha, nice. So what's going on guys, welcome to the video. Uh, today I'm starting one of the biggest projects on this channel. I'm gonna be starting the, starting the Road to High Stakes Poker. This is a series where I'll be playing, uh, you know, online cash games, live cash games, online tournaments, live tournaments, I'll be making vlogs and I'll be doing weekly videos where every week I will be reviewing the biggest hands of, you know, depending on what I played the, the previous week. So starting off today with this week's episode, we got a huge 3-bet pot against a recreational, we got a questionable spot against a regular, and we got an epic compilation of, you know, the biggest hands of this week. I'm gonna be doing, you know, as a little montage, you're gonna see it. And also for a final, we got a huge 4-bet pot that's blind versus blind against another regular. So we got some pretty interesting hands, uh, you know, this week, and yeah, hope you enjoy. Okay, so starting off, we got the first hand that I said uh, we're gonna review, the 3-bet pot against the recreational player. Uh, we're, we got $62 here at 50 NL in Poker Stars. So this is like, uh, what, 100 and 125 blinds, something like that. We get 3 bet by the button, who is a recreational player. Uh, we just call with Ajax suited. We could go for a 4 bet here, of course, but um, I decide that, uh, you know, against recreational players, they're gonna have a tighter 3 betting range. So usually when we get when we, when we 4 bet, we are gonna get 5 bet all in more often. And we are not going to be able to, you know, realize uh, our equity with Ajax Suited, which is a pretty good hand. So I decided to just call here with Ajax Suited, and we flop top two pair, which is, you know, amazing. We check range to the imposition guy who three us. And here, uh, you know, th this 825, this doesn't, um, uh, hasn't excluded the rake that's being taken. So the pot was in game, it was 784 when you when you take the rake. So this guy, I remember, he instantly bet like this. So as soon as I checked, he snap bet uh, pot. And usually when recreationals do this, you know, very quick timing for a very big sizing, usually most of the time it, it is, uh, you know, strength. So I know that here, in theory, I'm not gonna have a lot of raises. You know, like, like I'm gonna fold a lot, even to a small size. So when he bets like this, uh, you know, so fast, in theory, I think that I should be calling a lot, not check raising a lot. You know, I'm not gonna have a lot of check raises for value. But at the same time, this seems really strong. Like, this is basically ace king most of the time, I think. And, you know, ace king we beat with ace jack. So I don't want to go and uh, risk, you know, another co-op coming on the turn or maybe the board running out 10 queen and him slowing down. So I decided that when he bets so fast, I'm gonna play ultra fast as well. So I almost instantly went all in. You know, this is not a GTO play. This is, you know, a play that I'm doing specifically against this guy. Uh, so yeah, I just go all in with Jack. I get caught. And this is the run out. He had a skink, so we got it in good. But unfortunately, he reversed a kink, which means that we actually lose a pot. Okay, so next hand, we got Ace Queen in the cutoff offsuit. We get 3 bet by the small blind. Uh, this is a regular, this is a guy that I'm playing, you know, regularly <laughs> against. Uh, I decided to flat Ace Queen off here against the 3 bet. I could 4 bet as well, but this time I call. We hopped up pair on a Queen 9 for Rainbow. He bets pretty big. Um, I did consider going call in here, to be honest, but I decided that, you know, this time I'm gonna call. I, I think it's fine to go all in sometimes against this size, like in theory, but in practice maybe it's a little bit different because in theory he's supposed to be betting big like this, you know, being balanced, uh, betting big with bluffs, you know, as well as, you know, kings and aces. And in practice I don't know if people are balanced enough, I don't know if this size isn't just very weighted towards value. We call and we see probably the, the worst turn out of all the cards, like an ace makes us two pair, a queen gives us trips, you know, a jack and a 10, 9, whatever, are under cards. So probably the worst card we could see is a king. And the pot is $28, this guy jumps for 36. And I really give it a thing here and, uh, you know, given the fact that he bet big on the flop, which I don't think is gonna be balanced, you know, I think he's gonna be weighted way more towards value, uh, not have enough buffs. 
Then and King coming and him going all in. I think we are beat pretty often here. I don't think I think he's either got you know aces uh, or ace king. Like maybe on the flop he's also got kings for this size. But um, when he when he goes all in on turn, I don't think he would do that with kings. I think with kings he would either check or maybe bet more. I don't think he would jump pocket kings here. So yeah, I think he's got king jack, ace king, aces. You know a hand like that maybe on king ten. Uh, so I, I don't think we, we win like ever here, so I decided to follow this queen. I don't know, it's a, it's a really tough spot when he bets like this, you know, when he bets all in like this. But I decided to let it go. Okay, so now it's time for the epic compilation, but before we go into that guys, if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, you know, I'm gonna be continuing this series, I'm gonna be doing weekly videos. As I said, I'm gonna be doing not only online poker stuff, I'm gonna be doing some live poker vlogs, some... Uh, online poker tournaments as well, compilations from tournaments, live poker tournaments. So yes, yeah, stay tuned for that. If you enjoy the channel, so make sure to subscribe. And yeah, let's go to the epic compilation now. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> that was the compilation of the biggest hands uh, that I played this week. Um, let's get back to the final hand of the day. So we are back here in the, you know, let me move this so you can see the average stack is $54. Very important. Back to the last hand for the day. We got pocket queens in the big blind, in the small blind I mean. We get 3 bet by the big blind. So with pocket wins, queens obviously we, we 4 bet. We make it 10 doors. We get cold and we flop top set, which is really good. Uh, I could go both ways here. I could check, I could bet. I decided to bet, bet this time, go for a small bet, 25%. We get cold. Turn is a king. Now, hand is definitely strong enough to, to check. Uh, but at the same time, a king is a really good, good card for my range, I think. So, 
I decided to go for a you know a very small bet again on the turn, you know, and I'm gonna be betting like this with probably most of my range just because the king is such a good card for me. Uh, we get caught again, and river is a three, which is a pretty clean river. We basically lose to only one hand. We lose to ace jack because uh, our opponent can't have pocket kings. He probably would have you know five bet all in with pocket kings. I mean, not not that he can't call them, but it's not gonna be very often. Uh, maybe sometimes he's gonna have jack nine suited as well. So we only lose to the straights, but we beat king jack, we beat king ten, we beat king queen. There's one combo of that, you know, with he's flying king queen suited preflop. Um, the king of diamonds and queen of diamonds are on board, and we got the queen of cups, queen of spades, which means the king queen of hearts is still available there. Uh, also pocket tens, he could be you know three bearing pocket tens and deciding to flood them instead of jamming them. So we beat that as well. So a lot of hands that we beat, that we can get that value from. I just go for the all-in. And unfortunately we get called by a Jakov suit, which is, you know, unfortunate. And we, we lose yet another pot. So yeah, guys, uh, let me switch to the eight cam. So if we're going to reach high stakes, you know, <laughs> we're going to need to run better than, uh, than how we run this week. But... Um, I think it's fine for for the first episode you know i just wanted to to start this series so from here on out i'm just gonna make you know reviews of the biggest hands of the week uh beat cash games or tournaments or live cash games maybe so I, i'm pretty excited for for this series and the way it's gonna develop so yeah guys hope you enjoyed this video hope you enjoyed the hands uh i'm gonna try to find you know better hands more interesting hands to show in the videos i'm not gonna Obviously, I'm not going to show every single hand that I'm playing because that's, you know, too much. But if you enjoyed it, make sure, again, to like the video, comment, subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. So, you know, this content can reach out to more people. More people can enjoy it. And yeah, guys, see you. See you in the next episode.